That's right. I'm back. But where have I been? I've been playing some other games, such as Siege. But I've really been looking to get back into Tarkov. And recently, the game wiped. This means that all the fancy foods and helmets and face masks that the pros have, they don't have it. It's been deleted. It's been stolen from them. So, this was a perfect opportunity for me to try Tarkov again. I then chose a language to play the game in. I also chose my username, which of course would be bad name boy. I also got to choose my character, which I chose Yusek, not really knowing the difference. Turns out, Bear speaks Russian and Yusek speaks English, so I'll actually understand what my character is speaking, which is a pretty good advantage. Which face do I pick? Flynn. The most stoned face possible. <laughs> this guy? Yes. I was then greeted by an inventory full of items and weapons that, frankly, I didn't deserve. Oh shoot! I have two M4s, two MP5s? Flynn, look at my screenshot! What is going oh, on? Lord. I then took the time to organize some of my inventory and come up with the first loadout that I would bring to a raid. I then remembered that my character has absolutely no way to figure out what something is just from a glance. Now it's time for the fun part, I gotta go inspect all this guy's stuff. Mmm, what's this? Looks like a bullet? Oh, it's a bullet. What's this? Looks like a bullet? Oh, it's a, a bullet. bullet. I then loaded into my first ever game, where I decided to take my PMC. I was having a pretty good time. I was exploring the map, looking for loot, hoping to come across a jackpot. Until some complete idiot decided to come at me and start a fight. One of the I had done it, my first ever encounter on the new wipe, and I had secured a kill. It may not have been a player, but I was proud nonetheless. I then took the time to examine every morsel of loot on his body and steal it, to sell at a later time. I was wandering the map looking for any loot that I could find when all of a sudden this buffoon decided that he wanted to use his gun to make me stop living. Man! 100 meters. Bro, he oh my god. On that, kid. that was the worst encounter of my life. <laughs> Your PBS age was not loaded. If what? Yeah, I ran out of ammo, dude. This was incredible. I had managed to take out a real player in my first ever game on the new wipe. Seeing as how I hadn't played in over six months, I was extremely proud of myself, and I wanted to show it to the world. 
Unfortunately, this man had a shotgun, and he had done a lot of damage to my body. I'm dead. I, I didn't even know where he was. Where the heck was he? Oh, God. Well, this was a very impressive run. I knew that I had died losing everything I had on me in the process. So I had to redeem myself. And the best place to do that was factory. I had bought a nice helmet, armor, and even a nice American shotgun. And I was ready for whatever came my way. Also, my friends were playing Minecraft the whole time, being very loud. Levo. Yeah. I just moonwalk on this guy for the flex. Nice. Is he a shit ass skin? I think he's a shit ass skin. No, he's not. Ah! <laughs> Look at me, comedy man. Da, da, da. They call me the comedian. <laughs> they call me the soundboard. They call me the comedian. I had already secured a kill, which was pretty impressive. Just like the rest of my Tarkov career. I then came across this idiot who was going to get in my way. So I quickly took care of that. Oh, Flynn, I'm scared. Don't be. A third Russian man in a weird mask decided to say some pretty hurtful things to me in Russian. But, as it goes in America, if someone insults you, you fill them with lead. You'll either die or you won't. My two friends continued to talk about Minecraft while I creeped down the stairs and absolutely blasted this guy. Yeah, does that not work? It used to. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I didn't really want anything off this guy, but I took his gun. And I also decided to loot a crate on my way out. Wait, I want, uh, what's that song? I'm not gonna be greedy and go for more, because I've gotten, uh, like, two backpacks full of stuff. Time Travel Kool-Aid, yes, my favorite song. <laughs> Look at that! That is Chad! That is Chad gameplay there! You see that? That's Chad gameplay! Wait, did you, get, did you get to extract? Yeah! Oh, nice. I used 9 rounds and hit them 19 times, obviously. And then, I got this absolute Chad of a scab. So I knew, with the shotgun, I had to take it. Down to the factory. I then went in on all expenses paid shopping spree, acquiring quite a bit of loot, which totaled to around, I don't know, or maybe a hundred thousand rubles. And I also got a Saliwa, an important quest item for therapist. Oh, thank god, this is the right extract. Dude, I'm so rich from this 10 second run. Why, because you got a hard drive? Uh, I got a hard drive, I got a Saliwa, I got a second shotgun with a red dot on it. Um, and I'll put the feet I got thing. a Glock. Dude, look at all this. All this from this one run. I then attempted one more run with lots of good gear and an MP5. It did not go very well. First, I was engaged by this absolute unit, and while I went to throw a grenade at him, a scav appeared right in front of me and started shooting me in the side. I also ran out of ammo at the most convenient time for the scav. However, my information of where he was allowed me to shoot him in the face. I saw the chads blue laser and held a doorway. However, every bullet I used seemed to have no effect. Partially because I missed most of my shots. At the end, I ended with more loot than I started with, but not by that much. 
I had also completely filled up my inventory and needed to make space.